So looking overseas, Nigel Lafarge, one of the main English politicians to push for the U.K. exit, took a short victory lap in front of the EU Parliament earlier today. You, as a political project, are in denial. You're in denial that your currency is failing. The United Kingdom will not be the last member state to leave the European Union. I know that virtually none of you have ever done a proper job in your lives <laughs> or, worked, or worked in business or worked in trade or indeed ever created a job. If you were to decide to cut off your noses, to spite your faces, and to reject any idea of a sensible trade deal, the consequences would be far worse for you than it would be for us. Money managers, hi, I'm Gary Kaltbaum. Tell me how you really feel, Nigel Farage. That was amazing. Gary, what is your take telling a whole group of European ministers you have never worked for one day in your lives? I feel like going to Washington myself tomorrow and telling that to every senator and congressman because that's basically what we're seeing in Washington, D.C. Look, the guy has, I can't say it on TV, but he has it. And, I'm, <laughs> and you know, it's about time somebody did it. So, look, so many people over there and in Washington, D.C. have never run a business, wouldn't even know how to find the lemons for a lemonade stand. So I do applaud him. Okay. Ty, what is your take? Well, I mean, he went out there and he gloated and he had the right to. He said that, you know, years ago you laughed at us and now there's no one's laughing. You know, the, the, the British people didn't want the backdoor trade deals. They didn't want um, their borders being, you know, being porous. And really, it's kind of the same things that U.S. citizens are saying. We don't want the backdoor deals like in, uh, in, in uh, Iran or our, our, our borders being open. And that's probably why we're having the rise of, of Donald Trump. So I, I applaud him for his, uh, his speech. Um, and it was very, very eloquent to be that much of a smart aleck. So, okay. So, Ty, because we're talking about the markets, I know you're a moderate bear, but when you look at the FTSE, we're going to pull the chart up so our viewers can follow along. The FTSE is not that much more off than it was on Thursday before this vote. So that is to say today is a rebound day. Does that challenge your bearish view? You know, it does. And I think this thing with, with Great Britain is huge. And I think it's not, as Nigel Farage said, it's not, though, they're not the last country that'll leave the European Union. The French are, being, are tired of being told what to do by the Germans, and 60% of those citizens want to get out of the European Union. The, the, um, the Germans are tired of, of supporting the welfare state, and literally half of the citizens, not the leadership, but half of the citizens want out. So I think we'll continue to see countries leave. 90% of, the, uh, of the, the citizens of Denmark went out of the European Union. So I think we'll see more countries leave. Um, and many say that that could kick off, if, if it happens rapidly, a global recession. At the minimum, I think we get a correction as a result of it. So, Gary, you just heard Ty say, I think we get a correction as a result. Where can investors, if you agree, find the best bargains right now? We know it's not going to be smooth sailing for the next 12 to 16 months. But if you're willing to hang in there, which stocks are worth buying on a discount? Uh, before this past week, the strongest areas of the market were utilities, real estate, and uh, consumer staples. I suspect that's going to continue. There is just no growth out there in economies around the globe. Uh, there's no growth of sales or, or, or earnings, and that's why the market's gone defensive, and that's where I would stick right now. I think the market put in a low end for now. You have end of quarter window dressing as well as the pre-holiday, but I think the eventuality, all these massive deficits and debts that have built up over time uh, is going to get the market eventually. I just don't know when eventually is. Okay, fair enough. Tai Young, Gary Kaltbaum, thank you very much.